everybody, this is Peggy from May Arts Ribbon, and today I want to show you a project that I'm working on. Hopefully I'll get it done in time for this year for Christmas. I'm going to be using this awesome paper, Christmas, Christmas Emporium from Graphic 45. Oh my goodness, you would not believe the awesome papers that are in there. I don't know if you can see them all on there or not, but oh my. Well, what I decided to do, I'm going to use a lot of that for scrapbooking, but I decided I wanted to do a little decoration for the holidays. Not that I don't have enough, of course. I found these old blocks, and I had used these a long time ago for a Cricut project via the green color there. But I didn't want to re-sand them or repaint them, and I thought, ooh, I will color them, cover them with my graphics paper. Look at that. Now, what I did is I put the, I, because I loved the printed paper, when I put my letter on there, I wasn't real happy with it. I couldn't see it, even though I used a little bit of the paint dauber to brighten it up a little bit. It just didn't work for me. So I went through my tab of paper again, and I found this paper. Isn't that cool? And then when I put my letters on there, you'll be able to see them better. So, let me clear some things off where, well, you know what, first let me show you what I'm going to use. I said I was going to use the dauber, the paint daubers. This is the snow cap. I'm going to use some of the May Arts ribbon. This one is CD16. It's a one inch. Isn't that gorgeous? Like a sheer with a satin edge. I'm going to try and use a little bit of the May Arts snowflake. I love the silvery. I thought that would add some to it. And I'm using Mod Podge to hold it on there. And then I'm going to do the edges of each block with the walnut stained distress ink. I did that because the guy at the lumber store it doesn't cut any better than me. And some of the blocks, even though they told me they were three by one and a half, they're like uh, three and a little over or three and a little under. And none of them are one and a half inches thick. Oh my word. That was a pain to cut. But we'll get through it. Well, let me clear some things off here and let's get started. Now, I've gone ahead and cut out all my little hunks of paper. And as I said, I'm going to be using Mod Podge to, to apply this to my board. Now, I'm not really sure if this is the way you do it. This is the way I've always done it. So, And it works. So maybe it is the way you do it. I put a generous amount on my block. I don't worry about it going over the edges. And I put lots of layers of the Mod Podge once I get my paper on there. I kind of like that it looks like it's really part of that block and it's not just paper laying on there. So I'm going to stick this right on there. And again, I'm not going to worry too much that my blocks aren't exactly the 3x3 three three because I'm going to ink up the edges with my Distress Ink and that will kind of hide that. You kind of press that down, make sure it sticks, and then I just go all the way around. Simple, simple, simple. And you'll notice every once in a while the paper wants to kind of flip off of there and I just stick more Mod Podge in there and make it go back. This is kind of a messy job, that's why I chose to do it on this side of my studio. Oh, I cut that one really short. And eh, we'll make it half and half. Um, because I wanted to use my craft mat, the bigger one that I have. And um, it was just more room over here, it seemed like. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it on the top here. These were originally supposed to be photo um, picture things, I guess. They came with these in the top, and so they have holes there. I'll use these for another project because... I didn't want to put pictures in the top of this particular project. So it just goes to show you that you can use a world of things to do different projects. No matter what they're originally set out to be, you can change them. That's why I love altered art. Well, you know what? I bet that's why they call it that. Hmm. All right. I need a little bit more on there. And press it in there. It doesn't take the Mod Podge a real long time to dry. I do like to let it dry in between my coats when I put the coat on the outer. Once I've got it adhered, I let it dry because I don't want streaks. A little bit of streaks is fine. So, all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get all of these put together because I don't think you have to sit there and watch me uh, glue on paper all the way around. And then once I get to the next step, We'll come back. All right. Okay. What I've done, I've gone ahead, and while all of the other blocks are drying, I went ahead and look at how adorable that ribbon is around there. Oh, my goodness. I am loving that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do are my letters. Now, I have a Cricut machine, and I use this cartridge called Billionaire because I kind of liked the font that was on there, and I used all caps. You can use any uh, die-cut type lettering that you can purchase, or if you have a Cricut or any other die-cut machine that you want to cut out your letters, anything will do. This just happened to be the one that I liked. So let me set this aside. I went ahead and cut these out, and this is where my um, acrylic dauber comes in. I use snow cap. I don't know if you're familiar with how these work. A lot of people were a little 
confused when they first come out. They're just what they say, they're daubers. So you kind of daub them and squeeze at the same time to get the paint out of there. And that's how that works. So I just went ahead and put a little bit all over the letters just so it kind of looked snowy. Maybe it doesn't, but you know, that was my thoughts. And I'm going to do both letters just a little, even though not all of my black is going to work. As I said in the beginning, I first tried using black letters, and of course when I cut something out, I'm not going to waste it. So I decided to cut out red letters and then use the black to give it a shadow look. It doesn't take this very long to dry, so i just put all that on there. I don't like to waste anything. All right, now the next thing I did is I'm just going to layer these just so they kind of have a shadow. No rhyme or reason to how much distance that I used. That might still be a little wet with the paint. We might be able to use that. And I'm not real worried about attaching that real um, secure with the glue because, again, I'm going to be using the Mod Podge, and that is going to hold it down. All right, so there. Well, maybe it is. I'm not sure. Let me put some on this one. I should have probably just used the Mod Podge, and that would have held it right on there. Plus, I have some on my fingers, which, you know, things like to stick to your fingers when you don't want them to. All right. So there's my letter M. Then what I'm going to do, let me bring my paintbrush back in here. I didn't know if I mentioned or not, I use uh, Claudine Helmuth Studio paintbrushes. They are the best paintbrushes. You can use them in acrylic paints, obviously Mod Podge. They clean really well. They are so sturdy. I leave mine sit in water a lot and they don't rust or anything. So they're great little paintbrushes to have on hand at all times. So, I'm going to put a little bit of Mod Podge to glue down my letter M, just like that, and I'm going to stick it right there. I want to kind of angle it a little bit just to give it that, you know, a little more dimension. Once it's down, just get a little more Mod Podge, and I really soak it in there because I want it to stay. Once I get it all in there, I probably shouldn't have put my ribbon on, but I really wanted to show you how that looked on there. It was so cute. I put a lot in the edges and I kind of glob it in there, I don't know if you can tell that on video or not, to make sure that I get all of the edges. Once I get that in there, globbed pretty well, then I'm going to go back and smooth it all out. And then I always make sure that I take the edge of my brush, I don't know if you can see that on camera, and I go around the edges so that there aren't big lumps of white there. I'm going to have to be really careful not to get that on my beauteous ribbon. See how steady my hand can be today. I've already put probably, oh, I don't know, maybe three or four coats of Mod Podge on the block. So this little one more isn't going to hurt a thing. Okay, let me get some of that off my paintbrush. And then can you see here where there's like mounds of the Mod Podge and all the little humps there? I just go through and get those out the best that I can and feather them out in there. You see the difference there? And then I'll go back in and get this one and feather it out just because I don't want big glops. It could look like snow, I guess, but there we go. Oh, I got a little Mod Podge on my ribbon. I'll have to get that off there real quick. And again, this doesn't take long to dry. Let me make sure I don't have any here. I got just a little bit on my ribbon. So we'll wipe that off of there. So there you are. And one of the other things I've forgotten that I had had were these um, what you, hinges from the Graphics 45. And I'm thinking I might get out some of my crystal, uh, what's it called, crystal effects? I don't know if that's what they call it now. And glue that on there just to have something else on there. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think my Mod Podge will hold it there. But we're pondering that to add some more things. I do know that I want to add a couple of my snowflakes. Grab my scissors here. These are the greatest. You can use them all together as a long border or cut them apart. And you have little snowflakes. Let's put a snowflake on our M. Oh, I like that. Yeah, let me move him up just a hair. Look at that. Is that too stinking cute or what? I noticed I have a little line where I just touched it. I don't want to do that. Let me get those lines out of there. Probably when they dry, they seem to dry out pretty well and even. So, there you are. Now, once I get all of the ribbon on, all of them... Oh, the other thing I did before I forget, I did put a glue dot up here at the top of my bow because I wanted it to stand up. It might need one more. So once I get all the letters glue on here, I'll come back and show you what the finished project looks like. 
Okay, the last stage of this project was to get a 2x4, and I had it. I went to the hardware store, and they cut it 20 inches long for me. So I now need to cover it with my paper, like so. And then, once I get it all inked up and got my letters on there for Christmas, I'm going to set these across the top to say Merry Christmas. Okay, so let me go ahead and glue this all down with my Mod Podge and get it all inked up, and I'll come back and show you the final project. Okay, here's my next step. I've gone ahead and covered the 2x4 with more pa of the paper, and I've put my Mod Podge on there, and I've distressed it a little bit with the Distress Ink, and again I used the Walnut Stain. I've went ahead and cut my letters, again using the same Cricut cartridge uh, called the Billionaire. I've increased the size of these just a little bit, about a half inch, quarter, half inch, just because this board was a little bit wider um, than the one that I used for the blocks. Now what I'm going to do is to glue those together. I'll use a little distressing on there using my uh, acrylic dauber with a snow cap again. We're going to go ahead and glue those on there, and I'll get it all set up, and I'll come back and show you. Okay, girls, there it is, my Merry Christmas. I added a few extra things. Let's see over here. I added the cardinal up on top with a little bit of hot glue, and then I know you can't really see it. Let me see if I can zoom in any at all. Let's see. Do you see that little topper piece on top of the R? That are some. That's uh, from the little package of Graphic uh, 45's labels and tags. Pretty awesome. So I decided to add that, and then a little bit of flowers in between their Christmassy looking things. So there it is. Super simple. Just get yourself some of that Graphics 45 paper. I'm telling you, it is awesome. You have a great day and Merry Christmas. <music>